How are you doing guys? Welcome back to the Bonville Cocktail Collection. Now, uh, in this episode, we're going to be continuing our look at whiskey drinks. In particular, we're going to be looking at Scotch whiskey. So here are five great Scotch cocktails for you to try at home. All right, guys, first up, we are going to make a drink called an Affinity. Now, this is very similar to a Manhattan or a Rob Roy, which is a Scotch version of a Manhattan, but this drink requires equal parts of sweet vermouth, dry vermouth, and Scotch. So we'll start with our vermouth, it's dry vermouth. We're going to go 30 mils of each. Thirty mils sweet, and our scotch. We just use a blended scotch. And last but not least, a dash of bitters. Now we're going to shake this drink. It's supposed to be stirred, but I like it shaking because it gives a slightly more rounded. Balanced flavour to it. If you want it stirred, it's going to be a bit, the scotch is going to come out a little bit more, but try both, see what you prefer. Fine strain that into a chilled cocktail glass. And we'll finish it with a lemon zest. And that is an affinity. All right, guys, next up, we're going to make a drink called a Bobby Burns, a really classic Scotch drink. This is a stirred cocktail. Get stir glass or your thermos or whatever you want to use. Now, there's a, as always, there's a, I've seen loads of variations on, on this recipe. They've all got the same kind of ingredients. What we are starting with here is sweet vermouth. Play around with the ratios, see what you like the best. But we're going to go equal parts sweet vermouth and scotch, so 40 40. And finally, uh, this is an ingredient called Dom Benedictine, which is a French herbal liqueur. Uh, and then we're going to go 20 mils of that. A lot of recipes require just like a, a dash of this, but it's quite nice. And uh, we'll give that a stir. Just for history's sake, the original recipe by Harry Craddock, I think, had uh, 40 mil scotch, 20 mil sweet vermouth, and just only five mil of the dom. So try that one as well. Okay, so we're gonna strain that into a chilled glass. And we're gonna zest the lemon over it. and then chuck that away, you don't need that. And we're gonna garnish it with a piece of Scottish shortbread. And that's your Bobby Burns. All right guys, next up we're gonna make a drink called a Chancellor. Now, I don't know too much about the origin of this drink, but I know it's tasty. So we'll start off with our scotch. And we're gonna use 60 mils. Next up, we're going to use some port. We've got a late bottle vintage here, but you can, I guess, try it with a ruby, 30 mils. Next up, dry vermouth, 15 mils. Some sugar syrup, you can go for about 10 mils. You can play around with that to get your sweetness level right for you. And last but not least, some orange bitters, double dash, and then we'll shake that up. And fine strain that into a chilled cocktail glass. Finish with an orange zest. And that is a Chancellor. All right, next up we're gonna make a super simple drink called a Godfather. This is just a stir drink built in the glass. So, grab your rocks glass. Filled with ice. Uh, it's only two parts of this drink, and one of them is obviously scotch. We are going to go 60 mils. That's 40. 20. And 
Amaretto. Amaretto, if you don't know, is an almond liqueur. We're gonna go 30 mils of that. As always, you can have a little play with the ratios. Let's decide what you like the best. If you've got a bit more of a sweet tooth, whack in some more amaretto. Give that a stir. More ice if you need to. Come on, son. Delicious. And finally, we'll go this out with a nice big orange zest. And that is a godfather. You disrespect me, you disrespect the whole family. All right, guys, last but not least, we are going to make a drink called a Blue Blazer. Now, this was a signature drink of the Bon Vivant himself, Professor Jerry Thomas. Uh, it's quite a simple drink. There's only water and whiskey in it and a bit of sugar. Uh, a small disclaimer as well, there is flames involved, so don't try this at home. Yeah, you're not going to see this very well here, but we'll sort something out so you can, so you can see the full effect. What you're going to need is two metal-handled mugs or jugs, something like that. Ideally, you want something with a lip or a pour spout, so we're going to cheat a little bit just for safety's sake and use these like milk jugs. In one of these, I've got 60 mils of uh, scotch, which we warmed up. In the other one, I've got the equal amount of boiling water, which we just took out the coffee machine a moment ago. Uh, and basically, you just need to set the whiskey on fire. That a minute and what we are going to do is just pour very carefully one into the other like so Uh, to put the flame out, just use one jug on top of the other. And we're going to serve that in a brandy balloon. We've got a, uh, about a teaspoon of brown sugar in there. So we'll just pour that contents of the jug into the brandy balloon and finish it off with a nice big orange twist. And that is a blue blazer. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let us know how you get on with those Scotch cocktails in the comments. Please try not to burn yourself, though. If you're into whiskey, we'll put links up to the other two whiskey videos in our collection. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time. All right, guys, those are five great whiskey cocktails. Oh, no, hold on. Oh, f this right up. Whoa. It's hot. All right, guys, those are five. If you're into your whiskey, we'll put up links to the other two whiskey videos in the collection that we've got on the channel. 